Oh, what's up, YouTube? Southern Comic Geek coming to you with another mail call video. Now, before we get into all of this comic book goodness, go ahead and smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification so when videos like this drop ever so randomly, you are one of the first people to know and can make the conscious decision as to whether or not to watch it now or later. As long as you watch it, we appreciate you. So why don't you go ahead and do all of that? while the intro plays and stay tuned for the video. So, as always, I appreciate anybody for taking the time to watch these videos, talking about people we appreciate. I sincerely appreciate those of you who have joined the channel, either through YouTube channel membership or Patreon membership. And if you're watching this and you don't recognize one of the names that is listed on this uh, list, check them out because the majority of them have their own YouTube channel content and uh, certainly are good creators uh, themselves. Uh, also want to see about ways to save you some money. So how about saving on those supplies? Visit bcwsupplies.com. Use the coupon code SCG at checkout to save yourself 10% on the order. There's also a link in the description below. As well, there are continued or continue to be rather some of the channel's first comic book exclusives left. Uh, there are 27 of the regular covers, three of the foil covers left, and sad emojis. There are no gold covers left. So thanks for those of you who purchased those. And let's get into it. So I got a um, shout out for Captain Ramos, who is a frequenter on the auctions and knows that I like me some Valiant. So his shop must be a shop above all shops because they actually sell Valiant uh, in some uh, significance because these are uh, ratio variants and uh, uh, he knew I, I would like it and so he reached out to me and said, hey, my shop's got these, and we were able to work out a trade for some books that he wanted, uh, so he picked those up, and I got those in the mail. So this is Shadow Man number one. This is the Jenny Frizen variant. So Jenny Frizen, known for drawing the ladies, but she can draw the guys too. Then we've got number one. This is the Virgin variant. And then we've got, I'm not sure, is this the ratio variant of the same one? Uh, pretty cool story thus far. Uh, I think Shadow Man 3 came out last week, and my shop shorted me, so I didn't have any. Um, so uh, this is number two, again, by Jenny Frizen. This is the trade dress. The Virgin, and then like the same set, so so pretty cool there. I don't typically get all three sets on anything. Um, you know, I'm a Valiant guy, but and, and I like Shadow Man, so don't get me wrong. But you know, if it was Bloodshot, even I don't know that I normally do, but those were really cool, so I decided to pick those up. And I got some mail in the mail from Pops Attic. So if you haven't already, check out Pops Attic over on Instagram. Um, that is, uh, if you notice the uh, payment info, sorry for that. Let me mute this so I don't uh, crush your ears here. So if you haven't uh, bought from uh, Pops Attic, uh, this is Legion of Comics's um, family. And so he is uh, selling some of his collection, throws some uh, cool deals up there on the cheap. And uh, let's see what he got. Let's see what we got here. So 
So I am uh, getting uh, my copies of the um, channel exclusive sent to CBCS, and I'm getting them authorized uh, signature-wise um, where I sign them. So uh, it'd be interested to know if any of you end up sending those. Let me know. Um, so Turok the Dinosaur Hunter number one. Anytime that I can get this chromy foil goodness uh, right here on the cheap, I do. Um, the shop I normally visit to, I won't call their name, but uh, the shop I visit a lot when I'm over in that area of Louisiana <clears throat> had one of those, but they were like $5. Well, eh, that's a little high side for that book. But uh, so it was a dollar or two um, for this. And this makes like the 24th, 25th copy of it. All right. So then I picked up Shadow Man number one. Uh, I already have this, uh, but this uh, was just too cheap to pass up. I think it was a dollar or two. So I said, I'm, I'm going to have to pick this up. I'll look and see if the one I've got is better than this one. I think Joe Rubenstein actually did the inks on that. So it might be a good opportunity for me to get a um, one signed. And this right here, I don't really know the story uh, on this, why this is, but I had seen somebody have one, but I just don't see them out in the wild. And that is a Shadow Man number zero that is uh, non-chromium. So normally, and I've got a bunch of these two uh, that are chromium, these chromium covers like the XO zero and the Ninjak ones I can pick up on the cheap, but I saw this one and it, it's not actually chromium. So... Don't run into that one too much. Uh, then we got Shadow Man number one. This is when Acclaim relaunched the Shadow Man title. They uh, only had two number ones covers. <laughs> Those were the days. So this was the painted cover, and then they had the more traditional cover, and I did not have the painted one, so I picked that one up. This is Shadow Man number 20, which is the last issue of the Volume 2 run. And if you notice right there, a guy by the name of Cr last name Crane uh, signed this because he was the artist. Uh, yes, that is no other than Clayton Crane, who got his uh, start. His early work was in Shadow Man uh, a few issues earlier than this. And back then he spelled his first and last name with a K, just to be different. So, yeah, he, he had not even really established his uh, signature as of yet, but that is the final issue of that run, so I was glad to pick that one up. And then we got Shadowhawk out of the shadows. So uh, I've got the early runs of Shadowhawk. I think all three of the early run volumes from Image. And I think this is a trade of one of those. And again, they're just on the cheap. I was already buying this other stuff. I said, well, let me go ahead and pick that up from Pops Attic over on Instagram as well. Now, this box comes from L. Veen's Comics. Christian over at L. Veen's Comics on Instagram. He runs uh, sales all the time over there. Uh, if you are not used to that, be sure to have fast internet when it comes to Christian's uh, online sales because they go pretty quick. And uh, so a lot of times I see people claim and I'm like, how is your internet fa getting faster than mine that you know the books you can put up before he even puts them up? So he reached out to me uh, for some X the X-Men books that I had for sale. And uh, we brokered... Uh, a bit of trade plus cash and so he went into his value vault uh, if you have not seen and you're interested in me interviewing him uh, I interviewed him on the channel a while back talking Valiant Comics uh, he is very connected with Valiant Comics in particular Dinesh's days at Valiant Comics from being a uh, comic dealer uh, and con visitor, frequenter uh, at those comics. He got to know all those folks. And so he's got quite the little vault of Valiant Comics. And he knew he, he was trying to speak to my heartstrings there. 
So he's like, hey, let's uh, see if we can pull some stuff out of the vault and stuff that you might be interested in and uh, that I might be willing to let go of. <laughs> so, first off, first book, he goes, any that you looking for? I said, yeah, the Valiant Valiant Signature Series. He goes, man, you just start at the top, don't you? <laughs> Uh, there's two of that book series that are ghost and I knew that he had uh, recently picked up the hardest one to find but uh, alas I was not able to broker that deal well okay well he threw in this one extra for me so uh, this is uh, extra thanks uh, Christian for that this is the wedding of Exo Manowar uh, this is a blank sketch cover but it's done like a wedding invitation so that's pretty cool now, this is Bloodshot number one. This is from the current run on Bloodshot. And as you can see from the cover, this is a carbon fiber cover. So one of the things that Valiant is known for is its gimmick covers. Uh, they were the first ones uh, to do a chromium cover. They were the first ones to do a glass cover. And I'm pretty sure that they're the first ones to do a carbon fiber cover. So that is dope. Shadow Man number one, the, uh, I forget this volume four or five, but uh, this is not the current run uh, that they're on now, uh, but it is the uh, gold uh, version of that. And, oh, I forgot brushed metal uh, versions. I'm not sure if they're the first ones, but I imagine that they are. This is Harbinger two, number one, and this is a brushed metal cover so that's pretty dope and those um, brushed metal books like that those are um, ratio variants and they are 250 ratio variants so if you can imagine how many shops were ordering 250 copies at a chance for a chance to get that book very few and um, so they, they uh, do normally command the premium that you would associate with that ratio. So if you get a 25, a one in 25, normally you're going to pay at least 25 for that. Same thing with that, uh, those books. All right. So Bloodshot Reborn number 10. This is the Jeff Lemire cover and he drew it to look like it was on a, a piece of notebook paper, just kind of scratched out with um, is that blood squirt over there. So uh, Bloodshot Reborn, definitely a cool series, even if you're not really knowledgeable of VH1 days of uh, Bloodshot or Bloodshot 2 or VH2 uh, Bloodshot. Uh, still a very good series by Jeff Lemire. <clears throat> and then he also threw this in for me. Thanks. Uh, so we got Harbinger number one. This is from the VH2 run, but Harbinger number one, uh, this is the $1 debut or the True Believers as Marvel likes to call them. So that was a pretty cool series <clears throat> of books. And so it seemed to be uh, Valiant uh, heavy. I know that surprises everybody that watches this video. So I do want to mention uh, again, because this will air the last day of uh, June. <clears throat> so if you have not already done so and you want to, uh, the this month's giveaway is an amazing Spider-Man 300 new Stan Cappy, first full appearance of Venom, and the way you can enter to win that is simply by being a channel member, whether on YouTube or Patreon. Either way, the links are in the description below, and if you're joining, you have 10 chances to win. If uh, you don't want to join for whatever reason, uh, that's fine. The way that you can enter to win would be through Super Chats which unfortunately at this point are only done on live shows, which there won't be anymore between now and the end of this month, and premieres. So I plan on premiering this video, and if it is a premiere video, you can actually do a sna uh, Snapchat, a uh, Super Chat in those videos, and for every dollar of Super Chat, you get one chance to win. So keep that in mind. You don't have to have a live or a premiere video to join the channel. You can do that as long as it's done before July the 1st. And then sometime next week, I'll do a giveaway 
for that. And we'll see if we can announce what the giveaway for July is going to be. Hopefully everybody go ahead and smashes that like button. Um, hopefully everybody's doing great out there. Um, and till next time. Let me know when you're rolling. A sort of omens tells me that you're watching Southern Comic Geek. Thundercats. Ho! Keep reading and keep collecting, folks. Adios.